In a new Rolling Stone interview, President Obama blames Fox News in part for Hillary Clinton's election loss. Here is the quote. I think that part of it has to do with our inability, our failure, to reach those voters effectively. Part of it is Fox News in every bar and restaurant in big chunks of the country. But part of it is also Democrats not working at a grassroots level. Look who is here, Vaughn <laughs> Williams, author of We the People and co-host of the very successful show, The Five. Juan, welcome back. Thank you, Stuart. So it's all Fox News' fault, is it, that Hillary lost? Is that it? Uh, uh, you know, what, what do you say? Well, I love working at Fox News, and I'm so impressed that Fox News is so effective and that, that the president would acknowledge we're in every bar and grill in America. <laughs> Which is not true, by the way. Have you ever seen Fox News on in New York City, in a bar or restaurant, or anywhere in California? Have yes. Yes. You have? I sure have. I don't take me there, son, because no, I've never I, seen right, it. I can take you right over to Conley's Bar I, or the gym I work out in has several screens, and two of them are almost always on they Fox. They put that on because they know you're in. <laughs> oh, that's that's yeah, it could be. It could be. Don't you think for a moment here that the president is ignoring the loss of 63 House seats, nine Senate seats, 14 governorships, and a thousand state positions? He's ignoring that and blaming Fox News for the loss of Hillary, uh, Hillary's loss in the election. I don't think he's totally blaming it. I think that the first sentence in which he said that the Democrats themselves have not been effective communicators is key, and I think the result is what you're pointing at there. Those tremendous losses, down ballot, especially in state races, now dominated by the Republicans. But I would not ignore the message about the effectiveness of Fox News. Or do you, the, you feel or, somewhat responsible for this one? I well, mean, you're I think, part of Fox News. You I made am. a star for heaven's let sake. Me just look what you did. Let me just, you look what I did. But let me just tell you something. I think the White House and Democrats don't wish I wasn't here, but that's their business. I mean, but I got to say, when you do think, they, do, they, do they really? Do they say something like that to you? What are you doing on Fox News? Do they say that? Do they? Yes. And what do you say? Well, I, you know, I mean, it's such a twisted tale, but I mean, they feel like I legitimize. And I say, look, Fox News is a success. I think it's important to have balance and voice, and I think it's a tribute to Fox that I exist. So why do you think that way? But they think in a different way, which is that they see Fox as such a powerhouse that they would like to, de to stigmatize it and stigmatize me and anything that goes along with Fox. I'm uh, flattered, person. But you're flattered? Absolutely. <laughs> Tell me an, why. If I had an impact on this election, I'm extremely pleased about it. Well, good, because I think that as journalists, we should be pleased. The question is about the facts. And I think their view is that Fox puts their finger on the scale. As the president has said, he wouldn't vote for himself if he watched I Fox do News. That. You know that I don't do that. Don't you? you know that. Now, don't you, Juan? True. I don't put my finger on the scale. No, but I think that you have a strong point of view, and it comes through, and it's, and it it's, an it's, enjoy, it's enjoyable for the viewers. I don't doubt that in the least. Okay, let's move on, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Next case. Huh? Here we go. But you don't doubt that, in fact, you have a point of view. Oh, no. And that's what the president is objecting I to. And now, I will separate us out from the, uh, this present fascination with fake news and with the Russians sure. trying to say, oh, everybody tells lies, so don't believe anything. I think that is corrosive and corrosive in terms of trust in the democratic process. I hope he's not talking about that, because I definitely don't think Fox is guilty of that sin. I think Democrats haven't got a clue where they're going. I think they're bitterly divided. Correct. You've got a secret ballot today, Tim Ryan going up against Nancy Pelosi for leadership of the House minority. Mm -hmm. You have Ellison and you have uh, Howard Dean going up against each other for chair of the DNC. Both are on the far left. Nancy Pelosi's on the far left. I don't know where you guys are going. You're split, you're divided, and you're, you're leaderless. Well, I wouldn't say we're leaderless. I think President Obama clearly remains the leader of the Democratic Party at this juncture. Big question about the role he plays going forward. Yeah. In the House, though, I am a very sensitive to what you're saying because I think Pelosi, and not being an ageist here, I'm pretty much a senior myself, but I'm just saying, in her 70s and her entire leadership team, Jim Clyburn, and Steny Hoyer in their 70s, at some point you have to think, well, gee, they've lost the last three or four races. You've yes. seen a decimation of Democrats in the mm -hmm. Congress. Yeah. Who's responsible? Why don't we see some change or some necessary response that would lead to Democratic victories? That's why I think it's interesting that Tim wants to run, Tim Ryan wants to run. 
He says he can reach out, do a better job of reaching to blue collar you, whites. You want to drag your party back to the center, don't you? That's what well, you're I trying think, to do. I but think they've got to be effective. They're high telling it off to the far left. As well, we speak, so here's are. the problem I have with this, Stuart. I think that the Republicans have also been besieged by the far right. We see a great polarization in American politics. At the moment, you would even, I think people could even argue that Trump is not a Republican, but more I, of an independent voice. I would argue that the Republican Party is far more unified today than is the Democrat, Democrat Party. At the moment, because everybody's jumping on the Trump bandwagon, a lot of, a lot of never Trump people <laughs> hiding their heads at the moment, I it's would say. It's called unity. Yeah. Romney <laughs> coming over and, and supping with the man he called a fraud. Oh, my goodness. You enjoy this? Oh, my goodness. Will you be back next Thursday? Uh, what day is it? I, like, I usually come on Fridays, but I, I ran. Because because I thought Wednesday with Stewart. That's a new one. I'm going to try that. Well, maybe I'll be back on Friday. Well, get my blood pressure up earlier in the week. <laughs> Good. You're all right, son. Thank you very much. Nice indeed. to see we'll you, see my you again. All right.